Hello, and welcome to Blooming Dolls On Screen. My name is Marissa Galante Frank. I'm the Fashion Director for Accessories and Beauty here at Blooming Dolls. And I'm so excited because we have a fantastic show for you this afternoon. We have John Hardy here, and it's my pleasure to introduce Jean Key, John Hardy's Design Director. Thank you so much for being here with us, Jean. Thank you. It's such an honor for, for, for us to be able to be here and for me to be able to be with you on behalf of the John Hardy team with with all of our Brewing Dallas clients joining us from home. I mean, we are so excited, and everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. Um, Jean, we have some fantastic customers here, you know, some really loyal um, John Hardy customers, really loyal Bloomingdale's customers, and we couldn't thank you enough. And really, this event is our way of thanking you, because we were going to show you, you know, an insider look into some of the great designs um, that you have coming out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I want to tell everyone at home before the show starts, um, please participate, write us a note, ask your questions through the chat. Jean is here. Um, she is the reason why we have all of this fantastic, <laughs> gorgeous John Hardy jewelry. I mean, she is the design director. So if you have any ideas, questions, um, please send us a note using the Q&A feature and we will try to get them throughout the event. Um, I also wanted to note that Jean and I are coming to you live from the One Hotel Central Park. Um, so we chose to film from this stunning hotel because very much like John Hardy, um, the One Hotel's ethos is all about sustainability. And really, it's so exciting to be in a space that is not just about being beautiful, but also it's about, you know, standing for a fantastic cause. And it's really clear here that luxury and nature really blend harmoniously. Um, and it's, it's just a great place to be. I'm, I'm so excited to film here. Mm -hmm. um, One Hotel is also, they currently have five locations um, and they're opening nine more. So I, I can't wait to visit all of them. This will be so fantastic. Um, and you know, bringing it back to John Hardy, like I said, we chose to film here because of sustainability and that is very much part of your DNA. It, it is our DNA. I mean, it's, it's amazing to be in this location because it, it is so reminiscent of, of being in, in Bali and being in this oasis. And for, for, for those who have ne not visited our Bali workshop yet, it's, it's, it was founded in 1975 and it's nestled in the uplands of Bali. So it's like nestled within this beautiful range of rainforests and, and rice paddies. And, to be able to, to speak to the fact that we make our jewelry by hand in a place like that is something that we can do and no one else can. And, uh, you know, unfortunately with, with COVID, we have not, I have not been able to be back in Bali to work with the teams there. And it, which is a shame because you just, you derive so much inspiration right. and, nat and just being immersed in nature like that. It's just, it's, it's so purifying, it's so refreshing. You know. I mean, I cannot wait because everyone at home, we have an insider <laughs> tour to show you. And I personally am excited about this because I actually went on my honeymoon in Bali. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know. I, I went on my honeymoon in Bali and I was trying to visit, <laughs> but the day we had, everything of course was planned, planned, planned. But the day that we had planned the weather, it wasn't a great weather day. So we didn't end up going. So I'm very, so excited, very much like everyone at home to get this behind the scenes look at where this gorgeous jewelry is made. And the best person to take us through that is, is Polly. Polly is, is quintessentially the true representation of, of what we are as a brand. She is officially, she is our director of, of heritage, but Great. in my mind, she, she's just an unbelievable spirit and soul and, and embodies everything we have as a brand and our, our passion and, and what we do for not just making jewelry, but also the community that we sustain through this beautiful jewelry making process. Fantastic. Well, I'm excited. Should we, should we get to it? Let's get Polly on screen. Um, everyone enjoy the tour. Hi there, I'm Polly, I'm the Director of Heritage here in Bali. And I wanted to welcome you to the John Hardy Workshop. Hello to Marissa, to Jean and to all of you joining Bloomingdale's today. So I'm actually going to take you for um, we're really an immersive experience into this magical world of John Hardy in Bali. Um, here we're at the Kapal Bamboo showroom, which is the treasure.
treasure box of the John Hardy collection here in our Bali workshop. Hey Lisa! Hello. So this is a showroom which has the beautiful collections. It's created completely out of bamboo. So this magical plant, which is actually a grass, takes about three or four years to grow and it can be used um, in architecture, in um, essentials and um, utensils at home, um, in the weaving of baskets and also offerings here in Bali. So many of you would know that John Hardy has um, an important environmental project called Wear Bamboo, Plant Bamboo, where you as a customer can actually purchase a piece of bamboo which then John Hardy will plant um, here in Indonesia. So we've actually recently partnered with um, the Bamboo Village Initiative and this is a way that, um, that John Hardy can use the bamboo that is planted to provide um, economic benefit and um, incentives to really um, community village based um, women here in Bali where they're actually able to sell the bamboo after three or four years and make an economic profit. So come through and you will see a little bit more of bamboo but also this magical world. So bamboo, this amazing grass, comes in all sorts of different uh, sizes and colour and variety. This bridge that we have here is actually another species of amazing black bamboo. So um, it comes in all sorts of different colours and, um, and species. This is the amazing grounds of our workshop. So it's an environment which sustains us in so many ways, but um, being in a beautiful environment has such a different way of affecting the way that we work and I think how the jewellery looks and feels at the end. So John Hardy, our founder, came to Bali in 1975 and it was this incredible environment as well as the extraordinary people of Bali which inspired him and really made him fall in love and it was um, it was this idea of being able to work with a community that could create anything through their amazing artistic ability to use their hands. And it's still this process of creating every single piece of jewellery by hand, which is the way that we continue to work here in Bali. So we're lucky enough to be surrounded by this green, as I said. And one more thing I want to show you before we go across to our workshop. Um, the Wear Bamboo Plant Bamboo program has planted over 1 million bamboo. And in 2017, we planted our 1 million. So that's a lot of bamboo. This is another beautiful yellow bamboo. So I'm taking you over to our workshop now where everything from the design process to the first carving of the three-dimensional model in wax all the way to the production. Now that's done with almost 700 people here at the workshop. So we are now entering the workshop area where we create with the chickens, the butterflies, and again, in this amazing, amazing green environment. Um, you know, one of the things that, um, that was really important to the brand was to be able to provide um, a sense of community. And every day we still create a made lunch, um, which is eaten by all the employees here, grown, some of it on the property, also from people in the area. And that lunch, you can see the long table that we have over here. 
So during COVID, unfortunately, we haven't been able to sit together at the table to, to enjoy that lunch, but everybody's given a packed lunch. You can probably hear the, go the goats in the background. They sound pretty crazy. And this is the Kapa Bamboo workshop, I'm sorry, Kapa Bamboo showroom that we saw earlier from the inside. All the um, shingles, the materials that many of the bamboo buildings or the buildings that we um, work from are actually created using sustainable materials like bamboo. You're looking now at the Wantilan, which is the design studio. Wantilan is um, an Indonesian word for community hall. So every village in Bali has a Wantilan. And this is where the community comes together, decisions are made. So this is the Wanti Lamb. Here we're going to meet some of the designers, the um, amazing chain weavers and wax carvers. So come on through. Danny, who is working on some of the renderings and sketches. It's quite amazing that still at this stage, all of the sketches are still done by hand. Look at the detail that goes behind each and every one of the design sketches here. This is one of the transformable chains. Another creative expression of how to wear jewelry in your own way um, that allows for something really playful and individual to come through. So an incredible chain. And all of this chain actually is actually woven completely by hand. So here we have Sulis. Hey Sulis, how are you? Good, how are you? So Sulis <laughs> is going to show us the process of weaving the John Hardy chain. So it starts with little baby links like this. Those links are pinched to create bows and then each one of the bows is woven to create this extraordinary John Hardy chain. So this is one of my favorites. It's the reversible chain, which is actually taking half a link of silver and half a link of gold. Of course, all recycled, reclaimed metals in all of the product. And it takes, how long does it take, Sulis? About three days to make one of these chains, almost yes. four, is that four right? Four days, yes. Incredible. <laughs> That's a labor of love. And then over here, we have some of our wax carvers creating the extraordinary three-dimensional models. This is Kuya. Hey, Kuya. Hi. You're talking to Bloomingdale's here. Oh. So Kuya is carving one of the beautiful sort of voluptuous bamboo cuffs yeah. where each piece from the collection is then contributing to bamboo being planted in Bali. This is Nati, who Hello. is carving the individual components to the beautiful necklace in the bamboo collection. So again, this handmade process means that each one of the jewelry that you see in Bloomingdale's, in our stores, is really created with this love, this intention, and we are so happy and proud that you were able to join us today. I'm gonna to hand you back to Jean and to Marissa. A big thank you to everybody here in Bali and talk to you. 
Wow, Jean, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. After you. Now I really need to get back to Bali and really go <laughs> see this in person. I mean, Polly was so fantastic. She's amazing, isn't she? I mean, it's really great to see all the incredible initiatives you yeah. guys are doing as a company. It's nice to buy something that makes you feel good mm -hmm. as well and makes you feel like you're giving back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, I think for us, it's deeply personal in, in that the jewelry that we make is obviously from hand. Like we start from hand, right. we carve everything by wax by hand, we chain weave by hand. And so you have to be able to carry that connection through from start to finish with a piece of jewelry. And to be able to tell that story is just, is, is unbelievable and something we always strive to do every season with every new collection we put out there. I love it. <laughs> um, so speaking of chains, we have to discuss the necklace that I you know, have the honor rocking. and pleasure of wearing. I know this is Chain Remix. This is Chain Remix. And, you know, you think about the, our, our icon, which is Chain. Right. We, we were founded on this artistry of being able to weave Chain by hand. And for Spring 21, the whole idea about modernizing our icon what became, really drove the, the collection. And then factor in, you know, what we went through with COVID, we ultimately ended up having transformability and this idea that we've been transformed by the past year and imbuing that in our jewelry was something that the outcome of was just is unbelievable. And I'm so, you know, it, it looks, one, it looks amazing on you. Thank and, you. And two, you know, the, the, all the different ways that it can transform to be a reflection of you, to be to be able to use jewelry as your way of self-expression is, is something that we strive to, to do and share and, and have you and have that honor of, of all of you wearing our jewelry. So let's get to it because I think everyone at home really has to, you know, learn how fantastic <laughs> this is because I have the design director here. She's walked me through it. I've now tried this on a million different ways, but um, we thought the easiest way to show everyone would be to start by wearing it long, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, shall I take it off and we can... If you could, that would apart. be amazing. We can give you a bit of like a one-on-one. You get some um, fantastic sketch here too. So the best way for us to break, break it down for you would be to separate it into all of the different sections. You can see that there are four clasps here, one, two, three, and four. So if you just went in and unhooked each one, you'll be able to see all of the different segments that they are, they comprise of. I love the mixing of the chains too. It looks so modern and fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really taking a classic symbol and a classic, you know, jewelry technique, the chain and, and giving it a modern twist, which is super cool. Yeah. And essentially that's why the, the whole names, it sums, it sums it up with the name. Yeah. Chain Remix. Chain Remix. Because it, it, like you said, it mixes up all of the chains within our portfolio. And so you can see now that we've kind of separated into the four sections, you have a double woven chain length segment, you have a, just a single woven chain, a box chain, and then a knife edge chain. And then the world is your oyster. Amazing. Have at it, connect it so however try, you want. I think I'm gonna try on the short neck first because I find that you know, sometimes in the summer, especially I, I, in the winter, I feel like I wear longer necklaces with sweaters and such, but I love a short neck oh, in wow. the summer. Look at that. So this I really love. That's amazing. And then you have like punctuations of some of the other chain links come through, right. which is, which is nice because you have the fluidity and the softness of that woven chain just juxtaposed by something almost hardware like, which is, which is quite, you know, modern, but timeless at, at the same time. I love it. And then meanwhile, we still have some pieces here that I could wear as a bracelet. Absolutely. Right? So you, I think you are a smaller wrist. So I'm going to put this on you because this is the shortest length. And all of these bracelets um, are different lengths? Yes. So it would ideally accommodate different widths. Sorry. Mm. Oops. You know what, I'm wearing such beautiful, I think because I'm already stacking with so many bracelets. <laughs> Let, let's move on maybe and show different Well, lines. the nice thing about these is not only can you wear each of them individually as a single wrap bracelet, you can also wear, connect them. Oh, a double wrap. And wear it as a double oh, wrap. Oh, I love doing that. So okay. you could 
connect those together. And then just, I'll just quickly oh, show it, but you could wear it as a, as a double that. wrap, that's you know? That's fantastic. Um, and then going back to necklaces, you can take off that double segment okay. and connect some of these sections on it to make it a slightly longer necklace um, as well. Here, I'm gonna hand off to you. However, the, the one thing that came out of this whole experience of designing this piece, this transformable piece that was not expected, that we didn't realize was going to become something beautiful, but it, en it ended up really being, is connecting it all together. Okay. And then if you don't mind, just raise your hand. Oh, wow, a belt. Mm -hmm. Cool. I love this. Wow, it, it has such a vintage feel. It does. And I love the hanging chain off of the side. That's super cool. There's a beautiful asymmetry to it that I think is, is quite amazing because you have a double drape you here. You see this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, this dress, I, I think the dress isn't it perfect great. for yeah. it. I mean, it, it, the jewelry is, is gorgeous, but I feel like this over like knit dressing, over mm -hmm. a sweater dress or something like that could be really perfect and yeah. really just accentuate the waist. Yeah, this totally a happy accident, but one nonetheless we, we absolutely I love it. embraced. I love it. I mean, there's just so many ways to wear this. It, it's really cool. And then the, the earrings I'm wearing are also from the Chain Remix collection. Absolutely. You can see echoes of the same links. You have the knife edge, you have some of the carved chain links, and then you have what we're calling a little bit of the swag, where the front of the earring connects to the back, the post, and we have the same bracelet here. And you have it available here, where you have the swag like or the, the chain also hanging off of our classic woven chain bracelets. I love that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this back on. I wonder how, <laughs> how I'm going to wear it this time. This well, is so exciting. The, so what's so amazing about this is just how effortless it is to, to wear it however you want, you know, and I think that's, that's truly what we, what we should, ooh, that's, I like how they the chains sort yeah. of hang off the side. So I think the, that's pretty This cool. is a very, this is an asymmetrical look where you do yeah. have a little, um, a little thing, a little chain segment off the side, but this is also a great way of, of styling this, which I think is, this is, is awesome. amazing. <laughs> yeah, I just want to keep playing with this, but I know we are, we're short on time, but everyone at home, I want you to know that, of course, if you go into your Bloomingdale's, um, I have the honor of being with Jean, but um, all of our Bloomingdale specialists can certainly help you try this on so you can play and really make it your own. Um, so I urge everyone at home to do that because mm -hmm. it really is great. And, even though Jean says, you know, we break it into four ways, there's endless combinations you could really put together. And I, bracelets, it feels like such yeah. a value. I think I stopped counting at 15. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I, I, I want to keep playing with this. Okay, and then, so I know we talked about the earring and then you have a Y neck here as well, which is quite beautiful. We have two other transformable necklaces that, oh. is, that essentially have sections that can come off. And so in this, in this Y neck, you have the carabiner, um, as, as a class, so it can function as a class. And then you do have uh, a, a seam, an amulet connector class and an Osley class as well. So you can separate it and, and wear it instead of a wide neck, just as a regular satwa. You can wrap it around your, your wrist as like an uber multi-wrap bracelet. And then the same with this Osley transformable where we have this Osley link which okay. is almost like an oversized exaggeration of our woven chain. That's stunning. Link, and it's it's juxtaposed with our woven chain link, which is quite with our woven chain, which is quite beautiful. Um, and you have the Osley clasp functioning, where you can break out the section okay. and wear it as a bracelet. As a bracelet. I love it. And I, then you could have this as a necklace. That is so cool. I mean, I just think that it's really, you know, it's how everyone I think is shopping and and dressing now mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. and you just made it that much easier. Yeah, well, and that's that's the thing, it's we have amazing John Hardy loyalists. We have people who, our audience love our jewelry because you just layer it on, yeah. you know, and continue yeah. to just stack with it, add to your collection, add to your curation, and it's timeless enough, yet at the same time modern enough to yeah. be able to do that. I have to say too, while we're talking about layering it on, um, I'm wearing some of these great bracelets, but something I love, and I don't know if you could zoom in here, um, is this bracelet is actually two-tone, mm -hmm. so it's reversible. So right now I have it on the gold. I love mixing silver and gold yeah. together, um, but I love that you could really just switch this to the silver to side. the silver side. 
So depending on your mood um, or your outfit, you mm -hmm. could really wear it so many different ways. I, I, I love it. Absolutely. Actually, I, it's my go-to as well. I have the same one. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And with the diamond. Yeah. Um, okay, so pearls. Should we get to the next group oh, here? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, I think we're talking about effortless wearing or, or layering, the pearl satwa is not transformable in a sense that sections break out. But the idea is really is that you can wear it however you want to wear it because it's 72 inches. It's, it's really, really, wow. really long. Okay. So if I just take this apart. So we talk about a necklace you could really wear with a sweater. Exactly. And then oh, it's just that. a simple T-bar or toggle cloth. But I mean, look at how long that is. 72 inches. Can I wear that as a belt? Oh, yeah. Do you want to try? <laughs> no, let's get to the necklace but afterwards. But this is really beautiful because you can wrap it multiple ways. You can wear it as a Y neck. You can wear it as a satwa. You can really, you can wear it as like a. I don't know how many times it would go around the neck, but you could also wear it as, as a, a short, as a really short choker, layered, layered choker. Right. Um, and you know what's beautiful about the chain pearl satwa is just how we've been able to juxtapose the chain um, links yes with the pearl there's something you know quite classic about the pearl that by combining it with our <laughs> all good yeah by combining it with our chain and our dna it really helps to add something edgy yet beautiful to it that is just it's it's so nice you know yeah. and it, it is our best one of our best selling it's styles. such a great, um, it's such a great mix of feminine and masculine, you know, which is I think such, such a modern, cool thing. Um, so we do have a um, question from the audience coming through. Um, how many bracelets do you like to stack? Usually, what's your go-to? What's your formula? I would say between three to five. I wear a watch normally. Okay. So because I'm I'm old school like that, and I, yeah. I still like to wear analog watches. So yeah. if I wear a watch, I'll just probably layer in two more. Like just more than likely, it will be my reversible, yeah. um, just because it's it's a great go-to. And then I'll throw on a slimmer slimmer bracelet as well. I think what's great to see about Jean Stack as well, and I don't know if you can see this on the camera because they were a bit behind here, but she has a lot of different widths. So yeah. she's really playing with the sizes, I think is a great um, way to stack your jewelry. There's really no, you don't need to stack bracelets of the same size. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really more fun when you are mixing all of these different textures. Mm -hmm. And it adds a great diversity to the layering as well when you're combining silver and gold and then a little bit of stone. That's great. Um, and then also we have another question about um, the belts. So it's funny <laughs> that someone's asking about the belts because we were talking before the yeah. event um, about Bali and just bringing it back to that fantastic video because there's a bit of symbolism attached to the belt yes. and Bali, right? Yes. So can you share a bit about that? It's actually something I learned quite recently from Polly um, where she was explaining that the idea of the belt is inspired from the selendang. Selendang is a symbolic is symbolic in Balinese rituals because it when you are going into a temple to separate your mind from the physical body, you do, you symbolically tie a belt, normally just made of cloth, around your waist oh. in order to do that. And ironically we have a woven chain belt in our archives. It's just made of a super long elongated segment of our woven chain with a little bit of links at the end to have a little bit of like um, a fringe. Fringe, at, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, and so it's funny that we were able to recreate the belt right. with this hero chain remix. Necklace. I love that. I mean, it's it's really symbolic and, yes. and quite beautiful. We always find, and um, as always, like we we always constantly are finding new ways of being inspired by by his, the history and heritage of Bali, which is That's unbelievable. Great. I will. I have a special place in my heart for no. Bali for sure. You have to get back. With I have to. Get back. Her. I have to. Um, okay. So should we get to the next collection because? I know, um, I'm sure we have a lot of mothers um, tuning in, and we have a really special Mother's mm -hmm. Day collection happening right now for a limited time only on Bloomingdales.com. Yes. We have a series of bracelets, just slim woven chain bra pull-through bracelets. And we have them here, right? In yes. In all the different colors. And we have each of them set in the different birthstone months. So if you think about, what's your birthday? 
My birthday is March, and then my daughter's birthday is April. So aqua, aqua marine and, and diamond. diamond. Di yes. yes. So you have. So you could stack them, stack them, and layer them depending on you yeah, or your loved that. one's birthstone month. And I mean, look how beautiful they are. Just two or three together. They're but also. Like the, all the different colors. All the colors, yeah. They're also so comfortable to wear. They're really easy to put on. They're just, um, you know, pull throughs, very adjustable. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love how thin they are yeah. as well. Yeah. They're really special. I mean, what a great gift. Yeah, and they're 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 so layerable. So you could buy one, you could buy two, you could buy three, and it's just it's it's really really beautiful to see them all together. I also love the color. You know, going into <laughs> spring and summer, I yeah. think we're all looking for things that just make us smile and make us happy. And I think these gorgeous stones definitely do that. Well, gemstone as well is something that we we always love uh, we always love working with, you know, and just because it, it allows us to really celebrate raw the raw beauty of, of Mother Nature. Yeah. And, and and allowing it to, to really shine through because we're using these unbelievable natural stones that come out of the earth as they are. Yes, exactly. And to be able to, to go in and like set them and, and fully encrust them in these beautiful birthstone stations like that is, is something that, you know, and to then have it speak to each of the birthstone months. Yeah. It's, it's not only a great gifting opportunity for your loved one, but even for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about jewelry that, that truly mean something more than just a way to accessorize. I couldn't agree more, especially in this year we just had. I think everyone's looking for things that have meaning mm -hmm. and, you know, like you said, it's, it's more than just beautiful. Yeah. It also, you know, when you look down at your wrists, you think about your loved ones, you think about yeah. the people that bring so much joy into your life. So yeah. I think that's really special. I don't think my husband's watching right now, but <laughs> I'll have to send him a clip because he'll know what's on my Mother's Day wish list. Just those two? I mean, there's more, but okay. I mean, you show me what's next because I think some of these next things might be on it. I love this gorgeous gold. Yes. So with golds, you know, with with this, the styles that we have here, Polly had spoken to sustainability. Yes. Bamboo and the fact that our workshop is made of low impact materials like bamboo, we do have a, a small but very tight bamboo collection, and it's not just about the designs that mimic the the essence of bamboo we have a beautiful partnership that we uh we do with the the bamboo planting initiative where every piece of bamboo jewelry that you purchase we plant bamboos on your behalf that's so fantastic bali as beautiful of an island as it is is not will net will will always continue to to develop will modernize and in in some ways sometimes it we need to also be conscious about how we're preserving the right. island and and the community that's that's in on the island and so this is our way of, of really giving back to to the beautiful heritage of of where we came from it's great um these earrings look so gorgeous i love it it looks like they have some great movement to them yes. which I, I love jewelry that has movement with regards to gold, so you have it in the pendant Beautiful. and the earring. We, what we were able to achieve was a little bit of articulation because we, we were able to assemble each component, element, one by one and interlink them together. So there's, there is continuing into spring and summer that amazing light airiness to, to the these pieces and with the gold it just it really truly shines that's really perfect amazing. for the season and mm -hmm. then the necklace you're wearing is quite beautiful as well that's a part of the bamboo collection this is the part of the bamboo collection it's it is fully articulated um, and what's so nice about it is it's a statement piece yeah okay. I forgot I was wearing <laughs> I yeah. forgot I was wearing it's so it because it's fully articulated as well. So there's 32 costings, 32 pieces uh, threaded together to create this beautiful statement necklace. And the fact that we were able to do that and have it lay so well on the on the neck, and especially on someone like my neck, because I do have very pronounced collarbones, I, they always tr like to put things on me because if it doesn't They're fit, good tester. if it doesn't fit <laughs> me, they have to know they have to go right. back to to rework it. But that the beauty of this is just the gorgeous asymmetry of the the feathering, the fan, the fanning out. 
but also just how wearable it is for being such a statement piece. It is really great. Is and, and I think everyone who's watching, you know, all of, you know, those nature lovers, and you know, I know Jean and I were speaking about our love of nature before, being able to wear something that really shows your commitment to sustainability is just such a nice thing. Absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, what we do is for every bamboo jewelry that we have we engrave on the inside of the jewelry and i can try and see if i can find it on some of these pieces the number of bamboo seedlings that we plant on your behalf and really? that's yeah absolutely wow. that's a, that and that's a key i think vis visible right marker that we're actively committed to sustainability always fantastic oh so it's it. just it's and it's an amazing collection because it, it it truly just reinforces our beliefs in 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 Bali and and sustainability for for the next generation to come. That's great, and I love that little hoop. I, I think a hoop is so great going into spring and summer. Absolutely, definitely I mean, something you could wear every day. Yeah, and the fact that we were able to have an interlink um, and layer in like that, I think is just it's it's really beautiful. Yeah, I mean the craftsmanship the craftsmanship is really mm -hmm. obviously we've been talking about everything being handmade and everyone at home saw that happening mm -hmm. um, in the video, but really now to see everything in person. Um, you know, I'm just gonna have to go to Bloomingdale's after this and, and see more pieces in person. Eight bamboos. So eight bamboos from these that. earrings. Huh. Plant eight, we'll plant eight bamboo ceilings. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then without further ado, <laughs> I've been staring at this tanzanite. I mean, the, everyone at home, um, if you aren't familiar with Chinta, Jean, do you wanna just share a bit about Chinta? Because this is something that um, is so special and such a great piece of the John Hardy collection. It is, we always joke it's the best kept secret for John Hardy. It's <laughs> our one of a kind collection where we use one of a kind and truly unique materials, semi-precious and precious gemstones, and produce these unbelievable designs that not only are an ethos to our DNA and our design language, but celebrate the power and the beauty of these gemstones. So, you know, we had the birthstone bracelets, right. like this is like the pinnacle artistic expression of, of our artistry with gemstones and working with gemstones. All of the designs and all of the jewelry in Chinta is gold and gold only. Okay. And there's only one of each wow. kind because more, more than likely we can only find one stone of that kind. That, you know, <laughs> talk about getting something that truly no one else has. Yes. That is really special. Absolutely. And, and I'm, I'm so happy we're able to offer that at Bloomingdale's. Absolutely. So we have these three unbelievable pieces that highlight not just the gemstones in themselves, and not, you know, we can get to this, our favorite Tanzanite crystal shortly, but also the artistry of our goldsmiths, you know, okay. who, who, who really work with the materials. But I mean, this, this so that's a raw tanzanite. This is right? a raw tanzanite crystal. And we found this in the Tucson Gem Show, not last year, but the year before. Okay. And you know, working with beautiful stones like this is is always a challenging. I mean, there's just so much beauty to to this in its almost raw state. Right. That we haven't figured out the right design for this yet. Right. And that's that's okay. You know, right. we we don't we want the the stone to truly guide us and what makes sense in terms of the design. So sometimes they'll take a couple of months, sometimes they'll take a year, you know, but that's really the beauty of the process. But you can see how beautiful the same material is in a cut cabochon like this, as well as a faceted stone where you can truly allow the, the light to reflect and refract through the stone. And for the, the two designs that we have here, which is the ring and the earring, We've, for the ring in particular, we paired the tanzanite with the purple spinel and garnet to bring out some of the purple tones within the tanzanite because tanzanite's a polychoric stone, meaning it within the stone, it, it will vary from blue to violet and um, all the shades in between. Okay. And so by complementing the purple of, of that stone, I think there's there's something quite nice about that. It's so naturally beautiful. Yeah, it's let's, so let's get a zoom in on the ring. Beautiful. I know we, we showed an image of it on the screen, but truly in person, it is just absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, and I want everyone at home to know that um, 
please contact your sales associate at Bloomingdale's and we can certainly um, make sure that you're seeing these pieces because again, they are one of a kind. So um, very special there. Can I try that on? Oh yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Okay, then let's talk about the earrings too because this is such a cool um, dragon design on, on one side here. Naga so they is reversible. They are reversible. Wow. So Naga is one of our sh one of our collections within our portfolio, John Hardy. And the one thing we wanted to try and, and do with these earrings is to make them reversible so you could wear the Naga outward facing. And I mean, our team had a ball of a time figuring this out, but the okay. mechanism is housed in here. Okay. Wow. And all you do is you you click it. It is twice. so special. I mean, no small detail was left here. If you could see, if we could turn this around, Jean, so then we can show even the eyes. Are those blue sapphires? Blue sapphires mm -hmm. and the eyes of the dragon here. I mean, truly a conversation piece and a special, special, you know, if you have your child's wedding coming up or you know you have just a great event to wear these two these are just so fantastic and we paired the tanzanite with the gray moonstone and white gold that's so great. it's just it's it's a it's a we brought up the cooler blues within the tanzanite with this and the warmer tones of the tanzanite i don't know if we want to zoom in i i am trying on this ring right now it really is it's beautiful it's unbelievable yeah. i mean it's beautiful what's beautiful about the stone is how it was cut so you could really see yeah. all of the facets through it and it, it's the color is so strong at it the is. same time still which it's is amazing so stunning um, I'm seeing that customers are writing in, oh, this is so great. Okay, so so many of the customers, Jean, did not know about the bamboo number. Um, Stephanie at home just discovered a two-for-two two bamboo <laughs> shoot in her ring. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, everyone who has a bamboo John Hardy piece, go in and try and find where we've engraved the little little bamboo seedling for, because every bamboo piece will have it. That is so great. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, last but not least, this stunning, stunning necklace here. This is not Tanzanite, this is a moonstone necklace. It's with yellow gold. But what's unbelievable about this, and this is not the way you treat jewelry, but look at how soft that is. Wow. It, what we were able to achieve with this necklace is that each individual stone is fully art articulated meaning that each basket that the stone is set in was linked one by one. Wow. And that's how we're able to get this beautiful softness to it so that when you put it on, it feels, it feels like it will move with you. That would look so beautiful on you right now with, that, with your top. Can you try it on? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so beautiful. I love the length. It's a great length. I mean, what's so nice about the length too is that you can double wrap it, so it's oh, a 35 great. inch. You know, so if you if you if you want to be dazzled and go out in in, in the city and, and wear this beautiful, beautifully articulated moonstone and sphene necklace, you can wrap it twice. That's great. I'm gonna show you right here. And again, John Hardy Jewelry just showing how many ways you can wear it. You could really make it your own. Um, you know, and, and perhaps, I mean, with Chinta, no one will have the same piece as you. Oh, no. But even with your not. other pieces, I think, you know, one customer wears it completely different than, than the other customer. Mm -hmm. um, another question that we're getting from the audience is um, about, you know, cleaning your jewelry. Do you have any expert recommendations on that for the team? Jewelry in general, I think, I mean, I, I'm relatively active so like when I wear jewelry I do take care of it but I am also I'm out and about right. and I would say for the most part as long as you you wash it um, if, if it gets wet just you know wash it try not to put any harsh chemicals on it anything with stone I really recommend not putting anything on it and really just allowing um, allowing us to allowing water and very, very mild soap run through it to clean okay. it out if, if you have to. Okay. Um, but I, what's nice about the jewelry is that because it's made to be worn every day, it will, it will continue to shine and it will continue to, it will just last, you know, and we build it in a way so that you don't have to worry so much about it, but obviously 
don't go skydiving with it, let's say. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think that there's definitely this effortless, yes. you know, obviously you are inspired by nature mm -hmm. in this collection, so it feels very natural and effortless and, and chic in a way. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's hard for you to choose because you are the design director, so every collection probably feels like, you know, you're, it's like Am asking, I gonna be asked what my favorite jewelry piece is? Yes, I have to. We, the the um, audience wants to know, and I personally want to know. Oh, you don't have to say your favorite piece. Do you have a favorite collection or favorite collection? Wow, I should have prepared for this earlier. No, no, <laughs> this is this is live. We, we need the real the answer. You know what's funny? Um, and every John Hardy team member who, who knows me knows this. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, so, <laughs> which is very ironic for for a designer. But if I had to say what my favorite collection was is Oh, that is hard. That's really, really, really hard. Or were there certain collections that at different phases, I know, you know, when we were talking earlier, you mm. said that you started as the design director for Chinta specifically. Mm -hmm. There, I mean, there are a few pieces in Chinta that I, I do have a bit more of a, let's just say emotional tie to, because yeah. like I was, I was involved from start to beginning with sourcing the stones right. and, and working with the team to, to bring it, bring it to life. Um, when it comes to the regular John Hardy collection, ironically enough, I think I have to say the necklace that Chain you're necklace. wearing, particularly that necklace that you're wearing, is an underlying contender because, because of what we went through to, to get it to where it is. I mean, you obviously went to incredible lengths, but it was so worth it because I don't want to take this off. I, I want to keep playing with it. I mean, it's, it's ironic because we talk about effortless and we talk about just the ease of wearing, but the amount of work, and you can kind of see it in all of the, the sketches, sketches, like, yeah. yeah, the amount of sketch iterations, the amount of trialing, testing. I think, I have to say, I think we must have had two or three failed attempts before we got to this got to this point because uh, the other thing too was this the, we were making this when we were not able to travel right so we were trying to figure things out over video over calls over emails and with creative that's not the way Easiest to be thing. collaborative yes. you know? yeah no so that I would have to say like this is a culmination of all we went through and like how we were able to resiliently come through and and embodies ultimately how we transformed. Well, I, I, I love that. I mean, I think that all good things take time, right? Yeah. And, and um, it's clear how much effort went into this piece because <laughs> it is so gorgeous and fantastic. Um, but unfortunately, time flies when you're having fun. Oh, that wow. is all the time we have today. So Jean, um, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. For, thank you. I mean, it's, it's such a, it's so amazing every once in a while too as I like to joke, come out of my little design vacuum, yeah. my little rabbit hole, and, and be able to share the, a little bit of the design process and the sneak peek of what goes into making some of our beautiful pieces. I think it's so important to share because, I, you know, again, you're not just buying something from John Hardy that looks beautiful, you're buying something that means something, gives back to the environment, mm -hmm. and truly, you know, you can wear your good deeds, you know, on your neck. Or it's, your ear. It's, it's, it's incredible. And for us to be able to share that with all of you. It's so important. And to, for us to be able to do what we do every day and do what we love to do every day, is just, it's, it's an honor. So you thank can you. Say, of course, you can <laughs> see the passion through the jewelry. Um, everyone at home, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you are excited to shop all the John Hardy gorgeous pieces you saw today. I want to remind you that after this event wraps in a bit, you will receive an email with a lookbook of everything that Jean and I wore, everything that you saw here on the table. Um, so please keep an eye out for that. Um, I also wanted to thank the One Hotel Central Park mm -hmm. for hosting. Um, this is such a fantastic a space and space. really was the perfect backdrop for today's event. Oh yeah. Um, and thank you everyone at home for tuning in. Um, this has been so great. Have a lovely afternoon and happy shopping. Thank you.